when we file lawsuits, that is always our goal um, to take the victims, to take the bad guy's money and give it back to consumers. And our ability to do that really depends on a lot of factors. Um, I think a romance scam is one that will be particularly hard to get a victim's money back because typically the way they're paying is a wire transfer or a check or something that isn't reversible. And if that money is sent overseas, then there's really not too much that can be done to get it. Um, a better case for us is when the money is paid to a company um, or paid by credit card and it is a person in the US that has assets. When we file lawsuits, we get court orders that can let us freeze assets. And if we win lawsuits, we can give the money back to the victims. That's, that's really one of the most important things um, that we do. So it really depends on the scam and it depends on how the money is sent and who keeps it. Um, one other point I wanted to make is that we don't necessarily get to investigate every report. So a, a report of a romance scam is probably not something that we're going to be able to take action on because we need to find the bigger actors who are collecting more money. And that's, that's really our hope to make a stop and, and get consumers their money back. And, and romance scammers are often one off. So with those types of reports, we look at the data, we analyze the trends, we look to see if there are any third parties that are facilitating these. But those scams in particular are unfortunately um, hard ones to get your money back.